Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Friday, March 15th, and this is my analysis of the pound US dollar. Starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still think this is very, very likely an uptrend. I still think over the coming months, and this is the monthly time frame, so this is gonna take a very, very long time to play out, but I still think it's gonna eventually go up and take out these highs, probably end up at one of these higher Fibonacci extensive levels before we do see a bigger push to the downside. So keeping that in mind because it is important, taking it down to the weekly time frame, I still think this looks like a one. I still think it looks like three waves down, three waves up, and five waves down. And it has a higher high wave B, higher high wave C. I think it fits the characteristics of a running flat very, very well. And if that's true, that means that the wave 2 is already over. And that means that this is a subdivision 1. This is like a subdivision 2. And that we are in a wave 3. And over the coming weeks and months, it's most likely, if this is true, going to continue on these very high time frames, especially to make higher highs and higher lows. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we have been pretty strong to the downside pretty much all week long, but to me, it looks pretty clear that this move down is a crescent to this move up. I still think there's a very, very good likelihood that this is a crescent, and I think there's a very good likelihood you're gonna see a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and it's just gonna keep on trending up over the coming weeks. So taking it right down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, I'm definitely looking at this as a correction. and I think this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A. I think this is very corrective way B. And we didn't really make it to a Fib level, but boy, this move down is looking like it's trying to complete a wave C already. Now we do have some pretty important dollar news this afternoon, so we have to make it through this news before we can really confirm that this really is the wave C. But if this today's news doesn't cause it to go down, and instead it causes it to go up and break structure clearly, then I would say that's the end of a crescent, and I would say that would be a very, very nice entry to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. Taking it down to the one hour time frame is where you can really break this down into uh, subdivisions, which is a downtrend for the A. This is not the perfect ABC crescent, but you can kind of see a little bit of a three way pattern there for a wave B. Nice and positive downtrend, as you can see, for a wave C. We have not broken structure yet, and like I said, we do have to make it through today's news before we can really confirm that it's over. Today's news could actually cause it to go down a little bit more, maybe even to the 61.8 before it goes up. So, since there's no break of structure yet, we can't really confirm the wave C is over. We have a very important news event this afternoon for the dollar too. So, that's obviously going to affect the dollar pairs in a big way. I think there's a pretty good chance the trend is up on the higher time phase, and I think there's a pretty good chance maybe today's news is going to cause it to go down, maybe mess with people's minds a little bit. But I think that this is very, very likely to continue to make higher highs, higher lows. I think this is a crescent based on the higher roadmap time phase, and I think this is just going to keep on trending up. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the card up here above. And don't forget to take a look at my brand new website linked in the bottom left corner down here. So as always, thanks and happy trading.